Peekaboo, Jesus Loves You. That's the name of the track that was uh, that's uh, promoted in this article. So I decided to go and look at the track, and you won't believe the nonsense that you'll find in the wording of this track that was no doubt given out to thousands upon thousands of homes last night. This is Tuesday morning, so the previous night was Halloween. And I want to say, while I have no problem with giving out tracks, the tracks must be theologically correct. This track does provide a solid gospel-centered verse. Romans 6.23 is quoted. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Now that's a great verse, but it this track completely ignores the fact that sinners are saved by grace through faith. Just below the verse, Romans 6.23, we find this these words, and I quote, If you want to live with Jesus forever, say a prayer like this, colon, Jesus, I'm sorry I do bad things. Please forgive me. I believe you died and rose again to take away my sins so I can live with you forever in heaven. Explanation point. Amen. So here we go again. Who writes these tracks? Who approves the final product? Who can defend such a statement like this? Who can promise to every boy and girl that says these words that they will live with Jesus forever. Will there not be accountability before God for teaching such heresy? Is God's mercy to be presumed upon, such that those who print tracts do not have to be concerned with getting it right? Or are those who order and pass out such tracts also not culpable for their failure to ensure only truth is communicated? 494 years ago, Martin Luther nailed a thesis, 95 thesis, on the door of the church in Wittenberg to warn the body of Christ of the heresy of suggesting that one could buy their way out of purgatory. Today, we are not battling indulgences. Instead, we are battling an evangelical community that teaches boys and girls that the mere articulation of words in the form of a sincere prayer is the same as repentance toward God and faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, Acts 20.21. How many will say in that day, Lord, Lord, I prayed that prayer, and the piece of paper said, if I pray this prayer, I will live with Jesus forever. God forbid that we not fight this heresy the same way Luther fought the Roman Catholic Church's heresy nearly 500 years ago.